Hey there, Norman here from WellCode, and today we're going to be discussing the Cinematic Slider Widget. The Cinematic Slider is a full-featured slider widget that creates a smooth and gentle transition between images. We already have our FX Ken's Burns widget that's meant for a super simple and quick setup. You could think of the Cinematic Slider as a much more powerful pro version of that widget, offering extensive customization. This widget also offers a superhero mode, allowing you to display the slider like you would our superhero widget in a full height and full width layout. So let's go ahead and jump into the builder here and take a look at how we set this up. Here in the builder, I'm using the bakery shop template. This has a classy, elegant style to it and it should be a nice fit for this slow, gentle slider. I'm going to add the slider just above this hour menu text here. So I'll open the widgets panel, we'll grab the slider, drag and drop it onto the page. Now I'm going to add some images into this slider very quickly just so we can see it working. Now that I've got some images in here, we can see that it's immediately working and it looks quite good and it's got that nice gentle fade between our images. And this widget is pretty much good to go without much more needing to be done if we wanted to just leave it with the default settings. That being said, let's take a quick look at this widget's content panel and we'll start from the top. So the first thing we have here is the unique ID. If you have multiple instances of the cinematic slider widget on the same page, be sure to use unique IDs for each one. Next we have our slides. This is where you'll add your images into the widget. Below that we have our duration per slide setting. This changes how long each slide is shown before changing. Below that we have our autoplay, loop, shuffle slides. These options are all pretty self-explanatory, but below that we have our navigation setting. This will enable or disable the slider's navigation arrows. And last we have our preload images. This will preload the images all at once upon loading the site. Let's go ahead and jump into our design tab now. The design tab has an extensive number of options that you can use to customize all aspects of the slider. I won't go through each one of them in detail as they're all self-explanatory and are labeled with the exact function, but I'd like to point out a few important settings. The first one being this widget mode setting. This is where you can change the slider from a standard slider to a superhero style slider which displays the slider at a full height and full width within the browser. You'll need to set the full bleed row setting within the row that the cinematic slider is in before the superhero mode can display full width. I'll show you how to quickly do that right now. If we locate the row here and we go into edit design, we see we have full bleed row and we can enable that there. Okay, let's open up the widget again, head back into the design tab. And then just below the widget mode, we have the height offset. This is used in conjunction with the superhero mode to adjust for the header when that widget is used on the top of the page. Down the list here, we have slide background color. This changes the background color of the images when using a PNG image that has a transparent background. Moving down the list here, we have our animation settings. And in here, you'll find the animation duration. This changes how slow or fast the Ken Burns effect is. So a larger number here results in a slower zoom effect. Whereas in the next section for the transition settings, we'll locate the transition duration. This changes how long the transition into each slide takes to complete. If we come down into our overlay settings, overlays are great for when you're using low quality images. A pattern overlay helps to hide the artifacts in a low quality image and makes it look sharper than it really is. By default, the overlay is disabled. However, you can use this enable overlay option to turn that on or off. Next, we have the navigation settings. And in here, I want to highlight the navigation side offset. This setting allows you to essentially add padding on the left and right of the slider for the navigation arrows. And there we have it. As you can see, the cinematic slider widget is a very easy widget to set up and provides a powerful and fully customizable Ken Burns style slider that goes well with any site. And that's going to do it for me. Once again, my name is Norma Durkee, and you have been rocking with the best website builder platform on the planet, wocode.com. And if you have any questions, please reach out to support. We're always here to help.